Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly conduct keyword research in just 5 minutes using some of my favorite tools. Keyword research is a crucial first step to optimizing your content for search engines and attracting more organic traffic, but it doesn't have to be a time-consuming or difficult process. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use tools like SEMrush and Ubersuggest to generate targeted keywords idea to your niche. These tools make it simple to discover high-volume low competition keywords that you can use to optimize content. In just a few minutes, you will learn how to enter a seed keyword into each soul and filter the results to reveal the very best option to focus on. Whether you're looking to improve your website content, your blog posts, your YouTube videos, or anything else, robust keyword research lays the foundation for search engine and user success. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. One of the most powerful paid keyword research tool is SEMrush. SEMrush is basically an all-in-one tool suit for improving online visibility and discovering market insight. Now, this particular tool can help marketers with services like search engine optimization, paid per click, keyword research, competitive research, content marketing, marketing insights, and basically campaign management. It's actually a paid tool, but it has a seven-day free trial. So once you click on this, please, it allows you to choose your free trial package. But before, before we go to the free trial package, let's look at the pricing plans. SEMrush has three price plans and it has a pro plan, it has a guru plan, and then it has a business plan. All of these are basically at different price levels. Now, if we go to the monthly plans, now the pro plan is $129 per month, while the guru plan is $249, and then the business plan is $4.99 each of them with different packages but you can save up to 17% if you go for the annual plan and then the pro plan becomes 108 the guru plan becomes $208 and then the business plan becomes $416 so you can compare all of the plans what each of them has like the pro plan it allows you to do five projects the guru plan allows you to do 40 the guru plan allows you to do 15 projects while the business plan allows you to do 40 projects we're going to see all of this in just a bit if you go back and then choose your free trial it brings you basically to the sign up page now you can basically sign up by choosing your email and then password and then create an account or then you could alternatively log in with your gmail account your google account this is basically the sign up page so it allows you a seven day free trial to access all of the features of this platform all right so this is the dashboard of semrush once you're signed up you can leverage semrush robust keyword tools a keyword review report allows you to impute a seed keyword and see data like basically monthly searches the competition the turnover time and then the related keywords so we have the seo panel we have the advertising we have the content marketing we have the trends identity agent solution but for for the purpose of time, I'm going to be more concerned about the search engine optimization. Under the search engine optimization, we can do competitive research, we can do keyword research, link building, on-page and technical SE. So you can do domain overview and then keyword research, but I'm going to limit for the purpose of the video, I'm going to limit myself to keyword research. So I'll come to keyword overview. Once I get to the keyword overview section, it's going to give me this platform that allows me to enter up to like a hundred keywords. I can now target each of these keywords based on the location which I am basically targeting. Let me use a hypothetical keyword like how to do keyword research once you punch in this keyword you choose the location that you're targeting i'm going to leave this at us and then i'm going to click on search so right here in front of us it's going to give me the search volume based on the location which i have chosen now for this keyword it says how to do a keyword research the search volume in the united states is 1300 now the global volume is 3800 that simply means 1300 in united states plus other locations such as india the uk pakistan canada and then in Nigeria. So that makes up the global volume, which is 3,800. So if you're a newer blog, the lower the keyword difficulty, the better the chances of your content appearing in the search engine results page. So it has another section also, which is the keyword ideas. You can choose keywords which are basically similar with different search volume to your choosing keyword. Here we have how to do keyword research for SEO. It's basically closer to our keyword, but it has lesser volume, but even still higher keyword difficulty. Now we have the SERP analysis. It shows us the top domains which are ranking for this particular keyword. So to rank for a new blog to rank in this kind of topic is going to be extremely difficult. But it has another magical tool which is called the keyword magic tool. So let me click on the keyword magic tool. So the keyword magic tool takes keyword research a step further it generates semantically related keywords and combines keywords to find long tail variations of that particular keyword this tool it basically offers what we we'll call advanced filtering and even analyzes your website to find gaps in your content strategy we are talking about how to do keyword research so it gives us semantically similar keywords and 
all of the data that we need so right here it has given us all the keywords that it's going to give us is 222 looking through each and every one of them it gives us the search volume it gives us the keyword difficulty now the cost per click and the host of others are like where we were checking for just the keyword overview while we're doing the keyword overview it gives us the ability to filter based on the keyword volume now i can basically choose depending on the range of keyword volume which i want so, so i can say i want a keyword between 101 to 1000 so it's going to populate it. So this is why I have a how to do keyword research is about 1,300. I can definitely choose. I can go back. I choose between keywords that are between 11 to 100 search volumes per month. So it's going to give me all of the keywords. It has it says two keywords are within that range, all still with extreme difficulty, like 52. Now, if I don't want to use the search volume per month, I can use a keyword difficulty. I can tell it to give me keyword difficulty or between 30 to 49 percent. So it is going to give me that, which can help my work. And it says all of this are within 30 to 49 which is just the possible range if i want to go lower i can say it should give me those that are between 15 to 29 percent per month so this tool is actually a very magical tool and it says only three keywords are within the keyword difficulty or 15 to 29 percent percent so it says how to do etsy keyword research how to do keyword research for amazon kdp and how to do keyword research for etsy so it's actually a very good tool and i can also go to choose the phrase match the phrase match analyzes all my related keywords and chooses the one that are closely related to my seed keyword or i can choose the exact match which shows all the keywords that are in the exact match of my seed keyword. So from this, you can see that SEMrush is basically a very good tool to discover hundreds of highly relevant and high potential keywords to basically guide your content. The data which is provided makes it very easy to select terms that strike the perfect balance of search volume and basically competition. So let's move on to the next tool. You may suggest on the other hand is both a free and paid keyword research tool from Neil Patel. To use the free version, you do not need to create an account. You just go to Neil Patel patel.com forward slash you best suggest now the free version has limitations on the number of searches you can conduct per day but it's still an excellent starting point for people who just want to practice basic keyword research there are three price plans that are available on the paid plan of you best suggest we have the business plan individual plan as well as the enterprise the business plan costs about $20 per month. The individual is about $12 per month and that is cheapest while the enterprise is about $40 per month. And all of this help in different area of domain overview. You can also use it to search top SEO pages of competitors. You can also use it for keyword suggestion, content idea, as well as to get an insight into backlink data of your website. In order to use Uber Suggest, you enter a seed keyword or phrase into the search bar. So once that is done, then you click on this search button. You can also alter the location, geolocation of your search keyword. So I can change mine to my country, which is Nigeria, since my keyword is car finance in Nigeria. So I'll click on search. Now, what this tool is going to do is the fact that it's going to generate hundreds of additional keyword ideas that are related to your initial search item. This keyword says that it has 170 search for you. The SEO difficulty is 31, the pay difficulty is 46, and then the cost per click in Naira is 167 Naira. If you go further down, this tool is going to give you different alternate keyword ideas which are similar or one way or the other which are related to my initial seed keyword. Here I have auto check car loan in Nigeria, car financing in Abuja. What is a, a car finance loan? Okay, here you can assess the SEO difficulty. The ones in green are the ones with low SEO difficulty, while anyone in red is the one with higher SEO difficulty, depending on the search item. Now you can also filter your result metrics like monthly searches, the cost per click, and then the competition to narrow down the keywords that have your high search volume but low difficulty. So you can click on any keyword. So once you click on any of the keywords, Keyword ideas so it gives you everything you need to know about that particular keyword one useful feature in uber suggests is the ability to see keyword difficulty over time this helps you identify terms that used to be highly competitive but now they basically may be easier to rank for uber suggests generate related keywords from a few seed phrases can give a dozen on top keyword opportunities for any content which you want to write now while it lacks some of the advanced features of the previous ones which we looked at which is semrush it's easy to use and it's actually great it for quick keyword brainstorming so that's going to be it for this video thanks for watching up to this point if you like this video consider giving it a thumbs up and turn on post notifications so that anytime a new video is dropped you will definitely be notified till the next video cheers